Hi, my name's Dave, and as I mentioned earlier in my last video, I'm giving up. I've decided just to let my cat do what he wants to do. This is Trash Can, by the way, and today I'm here to talk to you about tactics that you can use when you are approached by CPS, Children Protective Services, um, Adult Protective Services, anybody from the county or the cops, they're, they're trying to there to mess with you and your kids or your family. And that's Rexy, by the way. He heard me out in the background. He's here to watch the birds. So my first tactic is record everything, okay? Do not be afraid to pull out your camera and just record them. Um, these people, they absolutely hate being recorded. They hate seeing their faces on YouTube. They hate seeing their lives and careers ruined because someone is, you know, standing up to them. Um, that's the next thing you can do. Stand up to them. <laughs> And this is your family, this is your kids, this is your parents, these are your loved ones you're talking about. These are the people that make life worth living, really. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just saying I can't stop him. I, I, if I tried. I, I've just given up with the cat. Um, I can't stand up to my cat, but you can definitely stand up to children and youth and protective services. They're just people. They are. They're, they're, they're shitting and vermin people, but they're still people. And they don't like to be confronted, especially given today's, you know, social media society and ability to record and put everything online in just an instant. I mean, one wrong tag on in Google can destroy someone's ability to provide for their family. So uh, it's just that simple. And the other thing you can do is, you know, get involved with social media, network with others. You are not alone. I've read so many comments recently about their stories and experiences dealing with these vermin and what they've had to do to handle them. I'd love to hear yours. I do re really read all the comments. I mean, my cat trash can here, we will read them together, along with Rexy running around the background looking for birds. Um, well, they can't read them, obviously, but I can read it to them. Uh, the other thing, too, is if you haven't already, uh, we were in the national news uh, a little while ago for a sign that we put on our house because we are so displeased with the government and how things are being handled, especially by those who claim to be wanting to do better for us. And, and this is just ridiculous. It, so we put a sign on our house that simply read, fuck the government. And it's the property that we own. And the borough had a, the town had an issue with it. So it was in Fox News. So if you get a chance, Google my name, Dave Blyler. Um, I'll tag it in the description below and if you get a chance to check it out. I'll do a story about that and uh, how we wound up in the news and what we're going to do about it. Until then, this is uh, me and my kitty cat trash can talking to you from my studio and his playpen. So thank you for watching.